Okay, Gators, I'm not going into big X and O's. I, what I want you to think about, this one is on us. If the best of the Gators shows up tonight, and the best of the Gators is coming tonight, then this is when the game is so much more fun. Okay, so from this point, you walk out there, I want each and every one of you on your face. This one's ours. Deal? Mary's very passionate. She's very driven and competitive, obviously. Competitive is probably the first word I would use. I mean, her competitiveness is contagious. Did I mention competitive? There's no one better than Mary Wise. She began coaching at Iowa State as the youngest Division I coach ever, just out of school at Purdue as being an all Big Ten setter. And she still has that same passion, that same drive, that same focus, that same intensity going into every match as she did when I first started working with her in 1994. She has an unbelievable will to win. I think like a lot of great coaches, she hates, and I mean hates, losing. And I think that permeates in terms of the way she, she played, and it certainly permeates in the way she coaches. Mary wants to win, and we want to win. And it just, it carries us a long way that we just are always looking to get better and striving for something bigger than just the next game. There's times, especially I feel like during timeouts, where we're in a huddle and Mary is just, the way that she speaks to us and the way she describes certain like situations, it just fires us up so much in that like she just gets us so ready to play and do what we need to do. She's had so much success in the past and that's credit to her. And we want to be a part of that success too, be a part of her awesome legacy that's going to leave here. I think that she's really good at getting people around her to invest in what she's doing. I think everyone from the coaches to the support staff to the players, we're all invested. We have people here on staff, like strength coaches and athletic trainers, who've been here for over a decade with the program. And there's a reason why. They really enjoy what she does with them, what she allows them to do, and the passion that she puts towards them and the program. She comes back every year with new ideas, new plans for making us the best team that we can be. And she's constantly recruiting the best players, getting the best coaches, assistants, everything she can do to make our whole program so successful. I mean, she's just intense, you know, like she just has this incredible way of, um, we call it spinning plates, you know, getting players to reach a different level that they didn't even know that they could do. I think that when you look at her on the sidelines, you see someone's really fiery. Um, that's who she is, but I think what people also miss on a day-to-day -day basis is how genuine she is. She really enjoys the family atmosphere of not only the program, but also her staff, never been involved, the, the players, the athletes, and their parents, their families. So it's something that I think is very unique to college volleyball is how much she really invests in every single person. Like our staff meetings are called the family meeting, and it truly is a family. I mean, we communicate a lot, and uh, I think the interactions within the family is always pretty positive. She always wants us to excel in whatever we're doing, and she's super involved in knowing what's going on academically in our lives, personally, and it really helps prepare you so that when you're done with volleyball, you know what direction you're headed in, you learn more about yourself because of the whole process here, um, and Mary really kind of helps you along that way. And I always know that it's okay to come into her office and talk about anything, even if it has nothing to do with volleyball, so it's really nice, and I know that my parents wouldn't feel comfortable sending me across the country if that's not how it was here. So I'm really lucky to have that home away from home. I think having someone be able to connect to you on that level is so important in this sport because it is a passionate and emotional sport that you're playing. And I think a lot of sports are like that. And she does such a good job of understanding the different emotional levels of each player on this team, which I think a lot of coaches have a really hard time with. There's no doubt in my mind that you know, she just wants to make an impact and she sees the players that we have on our team and the difference that she can make in their lives and I think she just really enjoys them as people. Everybody that has come through the program, when they come back years later, I, I think they all understand that she lives for them, that um, when they hurt, she hurts. I don't know that you get that when you are playing, but when you're done, you certainly understand that. She's just not worried about just the volleyball. She's worried about making sure that our athletes 
graduate, um, that they're independent women, um, that they leave here confident and that they can go into the real world and make things happen. I could leave here being a better person because of Mary and also a better volleyball player. Well, I think it's something that she sees as, as her main role, is, as a strong female role model, is to build strong female role models. I just hope that like later on in my life I can have this impact on a girl, like be a strong female role model for her too.